Hi! This is the next edition of Art News. So, there's some pretty cool stuff in the Art News this week. The big one that I think is the biggest newsworthy item is that in that, you know, that big uh, prisoner swap that just happened between the United States and Russia, and there were like, you know, eight other countries involved Germany and Slovakia and uh, Norway, and of course it all happened in Turkey, so Turkey was involved. Uh, but anyway, part of that prisoner swap included a Russian dissident artist named Sasha Shochelenko, and she was arrested in 2022 um, for an art intervention when she was opposing the invasion of Ukraine. And of course, you know that's against the law. You can't do that in Russia. You can't oppose the government. <laughs> but anyway, so she was released as a part of that whole prisoner exchange thing. And uh, after leaving Ankara, she is going to Cologne, Germany, which is where I think she's going to probably stay, hopefully. She learned her lesson about going to Russia. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. <laughs> and another big article that I think is pretty interesting, the um, uh, American Museum of Natural History has repatriated more than 100 Native American human remains and 90 other objects. Ew. Ew. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, there's a Biden administration had uh, kind of revised the rules on um, what uh, institutions Hey, what are you barking at, Monty? <laughs> uh, about um, the rules on what institutions can uh, have in their collections and things like that. Um, but uh, the Biden administration changed the rules to remove some of the red tape and stuff to help repatriate some of these things. Um, other institutions that have human remains in their collections are the Hearst Museum of Anthropology anthropology at the University of California in Berkeley and Harvard University's Peabody Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology. So they've still got some people people's bodies and stuff in there. They need to get all that stuff back. <laughs> That's kind of kind of weird and kind of gross. Um, another big article came out of uh, London. They're at the White Cube Gallery. Uh, is letting go of 38 invigilators. Uh, some of them, most of them, are artists and students and things like that. Uh, but they really didn't give them a lot of notice. They just kind of let them go. And uh, because of their status, they can't get like unemployment benefits and things like that that they have in Great Britain. So it's creating quite a stir. I'm not even sure what it. I mean, I know what an exam invigilator does. I mean, they, you know, oversee the exam process of testing to make sure that, you know, people are following the rules and I guess like you know, not cheating and being quiet and all that kind of stuff. But I, but I don't know what an invigilator would do at a London art gallery. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so those are some of the big headlines. There's some other ones. Hmm. There's a there was an art show which they sold out almost everything, but no money changed hands. Uh, okay, how does that happen? I don't know. I didn't read that article because I don't know that that really interests me that much. <laughs> anyway, those were the big articles that I found interesting. Was you know the pris prisoner swap and um, the returning of uh, indigenous people's human remains. <laughs> so, I'll keep watching the, uh, the art newspaper for more interesting articles and uh, give you another video next week. Have a great weekend. <laughs>